Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be showing you a tour of the back end of WordPress. Now, this is what the administrative section of the site looks like when you log in. Now, here we are. Uh, we've just installed WordPress, and we have a welcome to WordPress. And notice how it has some buttons to let you get started. You know, your next steps are to write your first post or add an about page or more actions, turn on some widgets, turn comments on or off, change your theme, all that stuff is great. And this is what WordPress does really well. It sort of lets you use their software in a way that's really intuitive. And we could get rid of this by just clicking this dismiss if you'd like, or you could go ahead and explore this. Notice how below here we also have some quick draft and at a glance, uh, there's a WordPress news. Now you can click and drag these around and uh, it'll change the order of them. Um, it looks like it just changes the vertical order because uh, we're zoomed in here. If I was zoomed out, uh, it might make a little bit more sense. So we have activity here is also showing you the most recent comments and recently published uh, stuff. You can also click on these triangles to collapse them if there is one in particular you don't really need to see. Um, and we can move them around like that. Great. So now this is your dashboard. You can always return to here by clicking on the dashboard in the left hand column here. Now, if you click on home, it's the same thing. So dashboard is the heading, home is the page. Updates is going to be the page that we went to in the last tutorial. However, you're gonna see that we have no updates available. If you would like to check to see if you have updates, although the software does for you, you can always click this check again. Of course, it tells you when it was last checked. So next we have posts. And post is where you control all of your posts, right? So this is not only where you see all of your posts, but where you add new ones, manage your categories, and manage your tags. So what's the difference between a post and a page? Well, a post is an article comment, sort of like a blog post, right? I mean, if you're, you're most all familiar with a blog, it basically has a title, a body, and can typically allow for comments, and you can tag them, and there'll be a listing of all of the posts, right? Where pages are more like, you know, there's an about page, a contact page. It's not quite the listing of content like an article or something like that. It's more just a normal web page. So let's go ahead and click posts here. And you'll notice it takes us to the first item, which is all posts, and opens up this menu here. Now we have the hello world post that we can quick get into by clicking edit, quick edit. We could also destroy it by clicking trash, or we could just view it on the front end by clicking view. We can also filter, and uh, we can do bulk actions such as editing multiple ones or deleting multiple items. We can change the view from a list to a more of a larger list, like a fatter list with more information. We can also search for posts. You can also add a new post right up here. Another way to add a new post is this add new in the left column here. We can also go to here for categories, and a category is a way to distinguish your posts from other posts. You can add uh, various categories such as maybe, you know, like news or events or something like that, and then you could then sort your content, your, your posts by news or events, or you could have a menu that displays all the categories. So here we can add new categories, or we could modify the ones we do have. Right now, the only category that comes with WordPress is uncategorized. Now if we go to tags, tags are similar, however, it's a little less rigid. You would typically tag multiple things onto one uh, post, and it's a little less formal. So you could say, this is a post about uh, you know, this is a post about food. So maybe you tag it food, recipes, whatever. That way when people are looking for your site and they're in the search, they're gonna find this post more easily. Next we have media. And media is a way that you can upload images or other types of media, like we have the photograph or the camera or the audio, uh, the musical note here. Basically we can add our media here to have it used within other posts and pages within the page editor. You can also upload and use media through the page editor, so you don't necessarily have to manage your media through the media library, but what's nice is that WordPress gives you the option of coming in here and seeing your library, even all of the media and everything that you've uploaded through posts and everything like that. So anytime you upload an image through the WYSIWYG, which is a what you see is what you get is the text editor in the site, it's going to come into here and you'll be able to see it. 
Here you can perform bulk, bulk actions like deleting permanently or filtering them. We could also add new media here by just dropping files in and then using them later in blog posts. Next we have pages, which as we described before is like a just a web page, right? So we have a sample page. Um, you could click here to add new ones. And this is very similar to the posts where you can have your bulk actions deleting and editing. You can quick edit, edit or destroy or view them. You could search through them. And what's nice about pages is that you can add them to the menu of your site uh, in the main navigation. That way you could have content that people want to access quickly, like I said before about pages or things like that, that they could get to that much easier. Now next we have comments, and by default, WordPress has comments turned on. If you're running a blog, which is what WordPress is, you know, essentially built for. I mean, you can build all sorts of sites with WordPress, but uh, the core of WordPress is really built for blogs. Um, then you have the ability to moderate and edit and approve and disapprove Marcus spam. Um, comments here and so every single time somebody makes a comment on any of your articles it's going to show up in this comment listing right now we have it filtered by all of the comments if we wanted to see just the pending comments we could click this notice how all of the comments are approved and that has to do with settings that we have we could have all comments immediately be approved on posts or all comments immediately be uh, needed to be pending upon post Therefore, you have to review each comment before it goes live on the site. That way you can, you know, have spam control or you can make sure that people aren't posting things on your site that you would not like them to. Here we have the approved, spam, and trash, just like that, clicking through them. And we can click all here. And just like this, we could unapprove this comment. If I, you know, I didn't want Scott at Level Up Tuts to make this post, I can just say unapprove. Now it's going to be in the pending column right here, where I could then approve it again. Okay, well that is the first half of the administrative section menu here, and you'll notice there's a nice little divider between this top half and this bottom half. Now, these things in the bottom here are all sort of settings for your site, where the things in the top here are all sort of content editing, content adding, and more for the front end of your site. So in the next video, we're going to talk about what's in all of these menus here, and then we're going to move on to actually creating posts and pages. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video below or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. We're also on Facebook, or there's the new Level Up Tuts forum where you can come and ask questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.